Hello, and welcome to the Inside Integration Podcast. I am one of your hosts, Jason Savage, and along with my other host, Mr. Chris Barlow. Chris, hello. hello. <laughs> All right. Uh, we are uh, talking on uh, this particular episode about uh, Light of Palooza. Uh, we're trying to be as timely as we can on this podcast, uh, talk about things that are relevant, um, maybe some of the vendor focused things, uh, some of the shows where it's just Chris and I, we don't have any guests. Um, you know, we're talking about events that we've been to, uh, talking about our general impressions of the industry. Uh, but in this particular segment, we want to talk about Light of Palooza. Uh, we just uh, came back from it, trying to recover, uh, personally, uh, from <laughs> all the things that I saw. Uh, it wasn't a consumption race. I, it was fine there. It was just a lot of, uh, new things to process. A lot of cool vendors to talk to. I mean, the dealer turnout was awesome. Great. I mean, we saw people from the East Coast. We saw people from Florida. We saw people from Alaska. Um, so the, the, it's <laughs> the one person, the, <laughs> hey, the one guy from Alaska. <laughs> that one guy counts. And he's an important guy. He's amazing. So I love that he's, guy. <laughs> he's one of my favorite dudes. Yep. So soon uh, we're going to get him on a podcast soon. Oh, so as awesome. he learns how to return I, an email. I, I can't wait. <laughs> <laughs> um, but uh, suffice it to say, lighting is obviously the new shiny object, and I say new. You know, it's it's been a it's been a factor in the industry, but it's really starting to pick up some momentum as we see some of the traditional categories in the segment start to wane. You know, AV is what it is. Um, it's become a lot more commoditized. It's a lot more widely available, and consumers are willing to accept maybe different solutions or, or, you know, off the shelf DIY solutions in, in a lot of respects uh, over traditional custom integrated AV system. So the fact that um, lighting is a way to tie in audio systems that are wired into the home because it all looks like it matches or, you know, it's completely invisible. Mm -hmm. um, those are all things that resonate in the, the custom install channel. So um, I think this episode is going to be focused on kind of our top five list, if you will, <laughs> of things and takeaways that we got uh, from Light of Palooza. I'm not going to say big takeaway uh, repeatedly on this episode <laughs> as I maybe uh, have on others or maybe will on others, but um, that's, that's yeah. the drinking game. That is oh, absolutely right. a drinking game associated with the show is every time. See? We every time I say like before. that makes sense or that makes perfect sense, you take a drink and every time you uh, say the big takeaway. Yeah. <laughs> See? See, we should talk about these things and write them down before I, we start. I mean, the, the this is off the cuff. But, okay. Well, that's <laughs> fair. That's fair. Um, so, you know, for me, I mean, the number one thing I think I took away from, from Light of Palooza specifically was the size and the scale of the show. Um, if oh, you are... Wait way big <laughs> you know not way big on the scale of you know compared to a cd or a ces or some of these other shows okay let's make sure we we compart we make sure we put the level set that properly but uh it's not every day that you walk into a hotel ballroom and you've got uh cranes and motors lifting uh visible lighted signs above a booth in a hotel ballroom that's not yeah. every day um, from, for those of you that are not familiar with what, what it takes to put a convention on, <laughs> that's, that's big league stuff. That's big boy stuff. It and was definitely saw, not a tabletop. It, it wasn't, you no, know, it was nothing not. wrong with regionals and that kind of thing, but this no. was definitely not a tabletop show. This was a full blown booth experience. Everybody had their, they really did. They had their best stuff out and, uh, it was, it was really impressive. Cool. Yeah. The, the scale of it, the level of investment that was made by, by some of the vendors there, um, you know, certainly the, the, you know, just the booths themselves, you know, the, Oh, you, you, you didn't just recycle this from somewhere else. This is something that you <laughs> right. built specifically for this. Holy cow. That's a, that's a, that's a, you know, that's a bold statement, I would say, and a statement of intent. So yeah, the, yeah. the size and the scale of it surprising. And if you heard, you know, you heard about this light of Palooza show and you're kind of like, what, what is that? You know, like it's right. the fourth year. Like, what does that mean? Like, do I need to fly to Arizona? I mean, I think anybody could maybe do a little trip to Arizona in February. It was very nice. Yeah. <laughs> but, <laughs> weather um, was great. Yeah. Weather was fantastic. So if you're in an inclement uh, part of the country in February, something to consider. But, uh, you know, again, the, the size and the scale of the show was insane. I was I'm really, really impressed and not, 
absolutely not what I expected uh, before we showed up there. Yeah. And it, you know, it, it's gotten, obviously the show, this is what the fourth year, this is the fourth year of like fourth year. Yep. So it has, it is really apparent. This is the first year that I've ever been to before. Obviously we, you know, talk to dealers and stuff who have been to other ones and, and it has certainly gotten bigger as it goes with this year being the biggest one so far, I guess that's, that's kind of no big surprise, but that was definitely the sentiment that I heard from a lot of guys here is they, they walked in there and like, wow, this is, this really feels like a real show. Now this feels like it's, you know, maybe there's two big shows a year for, for CI and one of them's lighting and one of them's Cedia, you know, like maybe that's where we're at. And, um, you know, everybody that I talked to came away impressed and they really came away impressed with, you know, you go to these shows and there's the show floor and whatever, but I mean, the education, like the, the amount of classes that they stuffed into like four days on site in Phoenix was, was monumental. And what was super impressive. And, and this is one of the points on our, on our top five list. Here, yeah. That's but, our, that's our number two, number two <laughs> education. This, this seems like it needs a graphic. Like it seems like yeah, maybe I agree. at some point we need graphics and sparkles. Well, we need, and stars. Yeah. We need a lot. We need a lot more. Uh, right, we, we need a lot more layers to, to execute uh, <laughs> uh, uh, numbers and a Chiron with, uh, with the countdown. But we, yeah, can, yeah. we can certainly juice the graphics and, and the production value for sure. Just to make up for my stupid voice. Okay. Um, but you know, it, it was, it was way bigger, I think, than, than anybody thought. And what was great about it was the education part of it, you know, the show floor is one thing, but the education part was definitely tailored towards CI, right? Like you didn't have a lot of classes that, you know, would be, you know, lighting designers would feel at home and you absolutely had a lot of, Hey, here's how you get into lighting and here's the things that you need to know. And here's, um, you know, some stuff some steps and tips for speaking intelligently to a lighting designer so that you really come across like, you know <laughs> what this stuff does. And I thought that was really important. And, and that's, that's kind of the, you know, we're putting a rocket fuel in the industry to, to really launch us all into, you know, being able to do lighting and not totally, you know, <laughs> not totally screw it up and feel comfortable with it and really just get out there and do it. Um, because, philosophy wise it makes sense it's technology it's low voltage it is control um you know it's it's affecting you know your your day to day in your home and it makes yeah. a lot of sense that <laughs> us you know we've positioned ourselves as you know kind of the, the the concierge of technology or the you know concierge of cool from a from a previous episode oh yeah that's uh, right the concierge of cool <laughs> again that grizzled that grizzled old home builder that's been doing it since, <laughs> since the 70s is giving you the side eye hard right. if you roll in there saying i'm the concierge of cool but tune them uh, white think, what's that you know, hippie what, what are you, you know? talking about <laughs> get out of here hey, get out of here but no, I, I love it, that. It makes sense. It it dovetails in with with our philosophy of this stuff, right? Like you're, you know, you're in there, you're running wires, you're doing technology, you have control systems. Why wouldn't we affect light? And this show, so you know, it it really has grown itself into just getting guys familiar with it and really pushing a lot of people into this if they're curious about it, if they aren't even thinking about it at all. Um, and I think that's important. You know, we all need to, we kind of need to diversify our offerings, right? 10 years ago, it was shades. Now we're, you know, lighting it's, makes a lot of sense. And, and this show definitely put that across and, and right. gave us the tools to, to be able to do it, you know? So, yeah. So when you talk about, you know, uh, you know, I think we talked before about the, uh, the inside integration drinking game, you know, every time, <laughs> every time you say a phrase, you, you know, people are like, Oh, he's saying it again. I have time to drink. I know. I think for me, you know, it's going to be, we talk about convergence, right? Like there's my buzzword. Anytime you hear me say that it's because it's generally, you know, the way of things, right. It's not, you know, entropy, you know, right. order to disorder. <laughs> it's really kind of the, the, the convergence of all these all these levels of technology and, and these things that are happening. So, you know, if you imagine yourself as the, I'm going to be the, the Island of, of the AV guy uh, for the rest of my career, that's what my business is forever. And always there's a clock ticking on, on what you're, you know, on the lifespan of, of what your business is going to be, because these things are merging together, high voltage, low voltage, you know, massive manufacturers that are pushing into the space Yep. Um, you're, you're uniquely positioned to say, yeah, I'm the technologist here. I can, 
talk, I make the stuff or I set up the stuff that controls all these things. So I should be dictating what gets put in. I should be dictating how it all works. Right. Um, and the, you know, the, the education portion, you know, number two on our list here for me, I think, you know, even having classes as basic as, you know, the one, two, threes of electricity, but you were afraid to ask. <laughs> yeah. There was a I who's, thought that was who, great. <laughs> there's a who's who <laughs> of integrators in that room. Um, and sure, I mean, yes, it was it was put on by Rosewater to, you know, talk about, you know, their philosophy, which is fine. Sure. But I think there were some there was some some knowledge imparted there that if you you know you've been humming along doing low voltage, you're not really thinking about third phase power or really what that means. You know, they, they talked about some of those basic building blocks. So there was a range of education there from, I don't know anything about any of this stuff all the way to advanced lighting design. Uh, I know that our friends at, uh, at Blackwire put on yep. uh, that clinic about their new uh, under cabinet, you know, LED uh, lighting specification tool. So, you know, there were some really, um, you know, really cool ways to learn about, what the lighting business is, how to get into it, how to plan for it, and how to look like a pro, uh, even if you're just kind of starting out. So. Yep, hundred percent. And that, and that, I mean, that, that was probably the biggest takeaway. Is as somebody who is kind of fresh out of the custom installer biz, I mean, you know, those those classes were great. You could really uh, put your, you know, drop your guys into it, and they will come out with a much greater understanding of of what we've got. You know, it and this is the way we need to go to, to, you know, to, to, to do a shot here with your convergence thing. It's, uh, <laughs> we are absolutely rapidly approaching the singularity where well, you know, it's, it's the singularity true. I mean, cell phone's a primary is example of it, right? Cell yep. phone is now the end all be all of everything. You know, think of every technology device from the eighties lives on your smartphone now, which is <laughs> even your computer terrifying. You know? Exactly. So, Exactly. And, you know, and what was great too was the education part was wonderful, but the show floor was, was great because every manufacturer had enough people at their booth to have these conversations and, and have these networking, um, you know, points where you could walk over and you could talk to a VP from, from Vantage and, you know, work out how this works in your business and, and, you know, bend their ear and tell them your concerns and hear about what is, is coming. And that kind of access, it's, it's great because that kind of access is kind of tough to get to on a CDA floor, right? <laughs> when it's a 40,000 square foot floor versus a 10,000 square point, foot floor. Such a great point, man. Yeah. Such a good point. Talk about a quiet place to right. actually be able to interact with the, <laughs> the people that are making these decisions and at a, you know, kind of a foundational level for maybe the next evolution of what CI becomes. Now you've shown up at this show regionally, your low voltage contractor, AV integrator, what have you, you're, you, you met the guy that's the VP of sales. Who's going to be the president one day, or you met the, the sales team and guess what? He's going to be the sales director in another five years or what have you. Yeah. What a fantastic entree to, to building that relationship. I mean, yeah, what a, I mean, we didn't even put that on our, on our list, but, uh, man, well, I just, that just dawned on me like, Oh my God. Wow. <laughs> well, the reason I, the, the reason that I, that it kind of popped into my head was because, you know, I wanted to talk about one specific booth, which was, which was black Nova. And I mean, those guys, it was, it was, you know, elbow to elbow all day, the entire show. And that's, that's great. And it's because they, they did bring enough people out to have enough conversations simultaneously all the way from all the way from Italy, man. Yeah. So, I mean, like, you know, not, imagine not leaving some, Italy to go to Phoenix of all, or Glendale of all places, not, right? Not, like, not, not really messing around. <laughs> they're committed and their booth, uh, the traffic in their booth was insane. Yeah. I, I, you know, I have to say that was, uh, that was crazy. I loved, uh, I love the the interaction uh, to try to even get you know their their attention at at points was like hey I, oh there's a line to talk <laughs> right. to you that's cool take a number right that's that's you know <laughs> I, I I've lived in that world before and it's 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 exciting to see that that's happening for you <laughs> yeah. I mean, I'm but, not the guy waiting in, I'm not the guy that they're standing in line to, to talk to and and they again they did a great job of of talking to everybody and they I mean they were so busy because of everything they had laid out. They really had every configuration and it really kind of showed everything that's available in the Black Nova line, right? Like everything from Blackjack where it's physical, you know, physical um, controls to, you know, all of their Aria stuff and and, and their the thermostats. Alba and and Aria, Alba's. yeah. Yep. All, all, all of the different fixtures. If you don't know what we're talking about, 
wander your wander your you know your fingers on the internet over to <laughs> we'll uh, throw a link we'll, don't worry we'll, yeah. we'll, we'll oh, put a link okay. we'll, we'll, we'll put a link in there <laughs> but wander your fingers over to that link and take a look uh, at what the black nova stuff's all about i think yeah. um for for me you know one of the questions i was asked a lot about uh black nova was you know, how do i present this to a client or you know where does right. this fit in and uh on another episode we, we talk a little bit about iport right we talk about you know a Instead of doing a native keypad in the house, um, we can do an iPort device or iPad, you know, in a locked case with restricted access, and there's your control system you know, access. And, and that's certainly, yep. I think, a very valid and very viable option and, and should be certainly a consideration for lots of people. But it's also nice to have the idea of, okay, you've got a maybe a couple hundred thousand dollar countertop in here. And I only use that as an example because I'm literally working with working with a, a granite company to deliver a, a cost object uh, solution in that price point. You, there's only one shot at making that right. There's right. only one shot at making sure that whatever you're incorporating, maybe into the stonework, um, with well, maybe a product like Truefig or something like that, um, but you want to have a, a hard access point to the lights in the room, the control system. I don't, a decor plate ain't going to get it. You know what I mean? <laughs> right. Like it's just, it's just not, client's not going to go for it. I need to have a higher fit and finish and I need something that ties into my control system. Right. Black and Nova gives you those options to be able to paint with technology, essentially access to the controls in the home that could be there for as long as forever. You know, Absolutely. they've got. Restaurant specific modules, savant specific uh, <clears throat> units. So, regardless of the control system you're using, there's either a, a bond kind of bridge device to, right. to get you there, or it's a native it's a native device to the platform. Well, and it it, it shows to you know the the trend you know more pivoting towards design. You know, people really are doing those European square things in their homes, and it's really starting to take off. You're starting to see it in a lot of magazines. You're, I mean, it you've been seeing nice. it here in SoCal for a long time. It's just it's just nice. <laughs> it really it, is. And it, it adds again, it adds a level of fit and finish and detail to the home that's not just the right. Oh yeah, that's available in an apartment that's four hundred dollars <laughs> a month. Right. Or available right. in my house that's four thousand dollars a square foot. I don't yeah. I don't I don't want to share <laughs> it's way better than panels. Right. I'd like to have I'd like to have something that's not just like the the old boring decor switch or you know I, I want something else happening in here. And it's not for every client, it's not for every application, but for those specialized situations where I want to blend elegance in with control, in with the decor, and I don't want the technology to be the first thing in the room that you see, right? Or that my eyes are drawn to. But when I do look at it, I go. Oh, that looks like it belongs here. <laughs> this there's, is bespoke. There's, there's, exactly. <laughs> right. And this, you know, these are clients that are, you know, the, the, you know, the men and the women in the home, maybe they've got nice vehicles, maybe they've got nice wine, maybe they've got nice watches. Those are the, you know, those are the kinds of touch points, right? We can say, look, this is made specifically for you. There's not another one out there like this, if that's what you want to do. Yep. Um, and I think that's, again, Really, really cool. I, you know, my uh, my other product highlight. I don't want to cut you off. You just nope, something else okay. I want to say about Black Nova. My other uh, product highlight uh, for the show was uh, our partners at Lucetta. Uh, they were one of the key sure. uh, sponsors of the event. Um, they put up uh, a, an amazing booth. Um, I'm, it's going to segue into another one of the numbers <laughs> on my on our list here. But um, their their product offering is exciting and it's i know i think we talk about it in our podcast with keith and and certainly in our walkthrough uh video of light of palooza yep um they are uh you know i think a fantastic uh solution that ties into every other uh lighting uh control company device whatever that you've got out there it's totally complimentary it's yep. like oh they don't make that but uh, Lucetta does, you know, they make, uh, you know, that the, uh, the saltwater resistant impregnant, you know, direct, in, you know, direct <laughs> right. in install, you know, no channel, you know, get it, get it in there with a 15 year warranty kind of stuff where you're like, Oh, if you need to a light pool. a shark tank, yeah, <laughs> we have, we have the thing a color change, you right. know, you want to do, you know, it doesn't have to be garish, right? Like you can do amazing under cabinet stuff. You can do amazing, through lighting through yeah, stonework lighting backlit through stonework. work oh, i mean it's, it's so hot right now <laughs> super super duper cool you know backlit showers i mean that for me like 
Uh, and it's, even in my own home, talking about you know upgrades that I'd like to do uh, with my wife, and she's just like, "Well, the light through the counter doesn't really make a lot of sense." And I'm like, "Well, what about like if we had like a you know port slabs or marble slabs in the shower, and like the light came through that, and you get that nice amber tone, and all of a sudden it was like, oh, well, then the, just the shower becomes even more of a retreat, comes yeah. even more of an a, an escape. So you know the the wellness, uh, you know, along with the aesthetic, like there's a lot of cool, right." You know, just a lot of cool stuff that uh, that that Lucetta that opens the door to the the grazer. I mean, again, I could go on and on about <laughs> products without without uh, without any reference. So, um, if you if you haven't taken a look at, at Lucetta, I would encourage everybody, and I'm sure we'll throw a link up to their to their website Certainly. here. But it's a it's a really really cool uh, opportunity to tie in more linear lighting. Uh, at a very competitive price point that doesn't infringe on your other business. It's like right. If when my you know my lighting line du jour product selection runs out at wherever the cliff is and I, they don't have anything else beyond that, then you start looking for other vendors. Lucetta has the, has pretty much every other option that, that you could imagine, and right. and some you probably haven't. Yeah, and it, it, it almost infinitely adaptable. You know, different different product for every single use case. From uh, you know, one of the things that we we saw a lot of is a lot of these suspended fixtures that it's basically just lines and bars and that kind of thing that's all you know that can all be done with lucetta and you know controlled very easily you know very effectively yeah. runs from, installed um oh yeah speaking of spec you know that's one thing that we didn't talk about and maybe we haven't mentioned on here is you know light of palooza is a lot of new territory for people right and right you think oh i'm going to shift my business here from my comfort zone which which for me would be av right like right. oh audio video got you control okay no problem lighting okay yeah I'm, I'm good with you know controlling the lights in your home oh now i have to come up with a plan or <laughs> there's a there's a way that and a parts need, list yeah and a parts <laughs> list and and i need the segments to work like this or like that the the team at lucetta has i think he said i think he said 30 a team of 30 people yeah, in that 30 people um, in the coding department, access to a fax machine. You can oh. literally fax them a cocktail napkin if if With you're so inclined. <laughs> right, like so. If you're familiar enough to say, "Hey, here's what I need. Give me, give me some options." The team there will have you a quote back within 48 hours. Yep. And you don't have to know anything else beyond that. They have a tool where you can go in and you can specify yourself. Um, okay, I need this strip and this channel, and I need it to be this bright, I need this driver and I need the plug to come out on this end. And maybe your team is set up to do that. Maybe you're already a lighting expert. Uh, sure. I know for me, I would much rather say, oh, you're the expert. Here's my plans. Let me email you these. Here's what I want to do. I want to light those up. Will you give me a kit? Will you create a kit for me that has everything with a, a fixed uh, Molex plug on it or with a fixed landing point? I don't want to solder anything. I just want to be able to plug it in and, and get on with my life make this easy for me, Lucetta can can do that for you. So that part of it um, was really like the, oh, got it. You know, <laughs> I, I, I want to, I really want to get in the lighting game now because you're going to do most of the work. All right. I have to do is sell the sizzle and, and put the stuff in. I can, I can plug in wires. That's my comfort zone. We we're just talking about. And that, that is a huge part of this. And I'm glad you touched on it because most of these manufacturers, not even just the ones that we represent, they are because everybody knows that we're we're still kind of in our infancy here, you know, with this in the market, and they are more than willing to help you design, help you do whatever you need. Um, you know, if you reach out, like like Jason said, you know, Lissetta has a, a thirty person design group. Like they'll turn around quotes post haste. You know, <laughs> they're and that's the same story with a lot of these folks. Where hey, let's let's help you get off the ground. Let's help you get a couple projects under your belt to get familiar with it, and then you know that's how we're going to get your loyalty, right? Like we're going to make you familiar with our product. We're going to make you familiar with this category in general, and you know we're going to bring you along, and we're going to be there every step of the way. And now you have an, you have a new vertical in your business where you can make money. You can position yourself to get different jobs and different aspects of, of jobs that you may be getting already. And they're willing to walk with you the whole time for, for nothing. <laughs> you know, like that's really kind of free yeah, money, you know? Yeah, exactly. The demo kits and the other stuff that they offer. Again, we're sort of, we're sort of off the range here a little bit gushing <laughs> about Lucetta. Again, we represent them, but we're really trying to pick lines and brands that 
have our vendors that you know that have our backs right. uh, and have the kind of kind of have the support you know we've got some great ones on our team right we've got sony we've got sony it's Lucetta is absolutely on par with the service and support uh, of those other organizations and, by, and I think, by any measure. I think part of that gushing is is definitely you know due to the extracurriculars that <laughs> that Elemental and Diode had provided, right? Like it is, yeah, absolutely. So, um, yeah. It, so it's good where, for the where are we at here? So number one <laughs> was the size and the scale. Number two was the education, right? Number three was supposed to be where we're talking about now, but number three kind of worked out to be the product and the vendors. Here we are. Uh, no, number four uh, <clears throat> on our top five list of, of takeaways and uh, impressions from Autopolu. Or Light of Palooza. I went to Lollapalooza in 1992. Nope, no Paris Barely remember it. Phoenix. Nope. Yeah, no. <laughs> no, he was not there. Uh, at Light of Palooza um, was, was the events, was the parties, was the was the engagement from, from the vendor side. I know specifically, you know, we've been talking about Lucetta. They put on a fantastic event at Top Golf, which if you're wondering, you know, what are the options in the, you know, in the Glendale, Arizona area? <laughs> They are developing them at a rapid pace. I'm going to give them. I'm going to give them credit. You know, sorry to make you snort laugh through your uh, yeah. through your drink there, Chris. <laughs> but, it's, uh, it, it's a little. It's a little. It's a. It's a new area. Right? It's freshly being developed. So while there is the Mario Andretti go kart experience, they're building you know roller coasters and hotels and football stadiums and all that. David Buster's. I mean, come on. Yeah, it, really it's, it's crazy out there. But we're you know they're they're building up to it. Top Golf was a was a popular. Uh, choice for a lot of the after hours events. Uh, Lucetta put on a great one where we got to sit and uh, you know we got to we got to hit hit smash the ball a little bit with uh, you know with the team there you know with Keith and with Olivia and with Cameron and some of the other folks uh, on their team. Again, building that bridge to the people that are positioning from these vendors to to really hey I'm in a jam or to you know have that camaraderie with or just hey build build a build a relationship with. Yep. I like doing business with people that I like. And I, I hear that, I hear that statement a lot. You know, that's not, that's not my quote, right? That's, <laughs> that's, that's, that's out there in the ether. There's a lot of people that make decisions in this business because of the personality game, not because yeah. of the product game. And, you know, I've, I hear, I hear many times, uh, oh, you know, I'm, I buy these things, but these guys, rah, you know, whatever, the, whatever the grumble is, it doesn't, doesn't have right. to be a specific product or, or tier or anything. But it's so nice when you go, yeah, you know, I've been dealing with these guys for a while and they always take care of me. And that's kind of the vibe that I got from, uh, you know, from the folks at uh, at Lucetta when we were after hours. You know, it was, it was right. a big one. A great, great event. Great, great party. Definitely uh, felt other- the love. Had a lot of great conversations as we were, sure. you know, getting you know, more and more drinks into it and worse and worse at golf as we went. Yeah. Um, Well, some of us got better apparently because I haven't swung swung a golf club since 2017, (laughs) maybe I'm, I'm, I'm probably being kind to myself and I I managed to find, managed to find my stroke somewhere, uh, after the first (laughs) 20 balls or so. (laughs) We certainly got hustled. I mean, there was definitely a, you know, there was, there was a pivot where one of our teammates suddenly amazing at golf. So, oh, shocker. Okay. Yeah, you, you, you <laughs> might not be able to hit the ball wildly as far as I can, but you're managing to score on every <laughs> right. uh, stroke. So, right. Have you done yeah, this before? Mr. Robert no, Dalton, yeah, Mr. Robert Dawson, we're, we're talking about you, sir. So, <laughs> shout out to Robert Dawson. He won the uh, the event uh, top golf high score. <laughs> well, th- this is uh, the, the test. This is the test to see if he, he listens to the podcast. Like oh, he says yeah. He does, if, so he, if he, if he does, test. that's true. That's a good, good <laughs> idea. That's a good, uh, a good litmus test. Right. Um, other the other uh, event that I wanted to call out was actually in the same uh, venue uh, was uh, our friends down at by design in Southern California. Um, Obviously not, obviously we have a lot of friends uh, (laughs) in the rep business. It's not obvious to anybody. It's It's a small industry. uh, It's It's a a small small industry. So we have, we have many friends in many different lanes. Uh, We have our good friends, obviously at Morris Tate. I keep saying obviously because it's obvious now. Um, (laughs) uh, And we love them. But what I the event that we saw uh, put on by by design was kind of a, a, a reverse idea for what typical uh, sales rep companies would do, and I think it's a great example of yeah. the partnership um, and the that relationship building that we talk about well, out there. The partnership and and honestly the the seriousness of you know where this part of the industry is going right when you have Absolutely. a rep for, that puts on a party at a lighting event like that 
kind of really shows you we're all sort of investing in this, you know, we're right. That's we're moving a, forward. And I mean, those guys, huge. the guys at by design, they're just, they're just amazing from top to bottom. They're just yep. such great guys and bar state too. Same, you know, same thing. Yeah. We, um, we love, we love, we love all of our friends in Southern California, Eric, like, you know, AV partners, we're, we're friends, we're friends with everybody. That's not the, that's not the point. What the, the real thing that I wanted to just make sure that, uh, that we recognized at least as far as my top five was the fact that that's a shift uh, in the game when yep. you see reps reaching into their own wallets to put on events uh, and make sure that the vendors are there along with the dealers. Uh, I mean, I don't know all of the nitty gritty there about who paid for what, but the fact that it was the by design party yep. was, was really impressive and really exciting to see. And I think, um, you know, maybe a lesson that the rest of us out here in the rep game and in the custom install world uh, can take note of. If you've got good people, you've got a good idea, you shouldn't be afraid to stick your neck out and make an investment in executing uh, an event to the standard that you want to have it at. And again, my my hat's off to, to everybody uh, that spent the money, made the investment in time to get out there as a vendor, you know, as a dealer, as a whoever to participate in after hours activities, networking, again, put, put those people together is, is what this is all about. It just goes to show that this is, this is a serious thing. You know, this is 100%. not 100%. Yeah. Is not you're going not anywhere. Um, what, yeah, what, what Joaquin and Benito do not need to just throw down a, a ton of money to have a party, right? right. Like they, 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 you know, they've got, they've got, you know, mortgages, they've got, you know, maybe, yep. you know, other things that they want to pay for. So the fact that, uh, you know, they stuck their neck out to do something like that, is is a uh, is a new a new tack and uh you know again hats off hats off to those guys for for making that investment yeah it's 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 a good thing you know it's it's always you know having an experience center is is something that is infinitely helpful that's you know that's another thing but yeah being able to put on events that is amazing as well so yeah. hey we have two events coming up and no i'm not gonna yeah, we, we, <laughs> we, we do have we'll talk more about that in we, a, we should drugs. talk about our events because we got we've got cool stuff <laughs> coming up you know we got the sony line shows coming up in in may so yep. uh be on the lookout for those and uh you know we'll, we'll allude to it here a little bit we've got some other uh road show ideas and some other uh marketing events that we're trying to cook up with uh ourselves internally here at uh at oliver marketing so be on the lookout for yep. Uh, announcements and uh you know uh opportunities to get together and build our <laughs> network lots, lots uh, of stuff kind of yeah and i don't know. i don't mean that in a patronizing tone at all it's i'm serious right like uh we're we're, we're nobody's here uh, as a charity we're here to to do business we're here to uh to to help everybody succeed and be, be a part of that as much as we possibly can so exciting exciting new opportunities coming up here in the future so yep. uh we've been through the top four things so far of our takeaways from light of palooza i think the the top five thing uh isn't one thing in specifically but it's really just the what when a, what did i get out of that trip um you know what's my here we go for my my another you know cue the you know cue your drink right the, <laughs> your your big takeaways from uh from the uh from the top five you know things from light of palooza and my my big takeaways we talked about the size and scale the education all that stuff i think really the, my 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 big one is just like holy crap there's just going to be a rival i would say and, and i put that in in friendly terms <laughs> i would say that this is going to be uh, an alternative to you know, the traditional CD event that we see every year, uh, specifically focused on lighting and luxury lifestyles. I think there probably is room for two big yeah. integration shows a year, maybe in different parts of the country, different times of the year uh, to talk about where product releases make sense, you know, where where that investment makes the most sense for for vendors as well as, you know, as well as dealers to, to be able to go to. Um, you know, my, my big takeaway is really, this is only just beginning uh in this channel you know we're we're just we're just scratching the surface and if the you know the rumblings that i heard around uh the event were that you know next year it's going to be in a convention center because it's going to have to yeah, be they, well they yeah. exceeded what <laughs> i mean they're they're at the limit there right now and that, and that is that's um that's a we're there that kind of got bandied about throughout the whole show as yeah. we kept hearing like next year it's got to be bigger there's more I, more demand that wonder, we can accommodate you know, I wonder how long it is before we start to see other verticals start to start to creep in to this opportunity. You know, certainly the, you know, the, uh, the outdoor audio crowd and the multi-room audio crowd lighting is, is so 
sure. intertwined with what you're doing, you know, in terms of the real estate uh, happening on your ceiling or in, in homes. Yep. Right. It just, it makes perfect sense. Absolutely. And you know, one more thing, and I fully agree with that. It just the, you know, my biggest takeaway was absolutely the potential that this thing has, um, you know, to have a focused event like this, where, you know, eventually it gets to the point where, you know, maybe the principal doesn't come to it or the principal just comes to it to, to kind of schmooze, but the people in your organization who are tasked and dedicated to lighting specifically, we start seeing more of that, that makes more sense than, you know, than anything else, you know, at, at some point you're going to start seeing specialists, just like you see shade specialists, just like you see, you know, guys who are dedicated to a certain task within an organization. And this kind of thing that, that caters and, and ministers to that is, is important, you know, really shows the importance of it. Um, and I think, <clears throat> I think it's a great endorsement of this as a concept when you've got the big hitters, right? WAC was there. DMF was there. Elemental was there. Vantage was there. Color Beam was there. Lutron was there. And and that's, you know. Yes. Screen Lutron innovations. A, yeah. The, every, every name them. They yeah. Were there. Like, you know, Lutron had a, had, had a pretty big booth. Vantage had basically their Cedia booth. Um, and, and what was great was it gave you an opportunity to walk in. You could have a conversation with them. You could talk about, you know, their, their keypad alliance and their fixture alliance where, you know, Hey, what is that? Okay, well, let's have an in-depth conversation with somebody at Vantage about what this means that you can use any of these keypads with our system and that we're almost platform agnostic. It's same thing with fixtures, right? Like that's a conversation that you wouldn't necessarily be able to have at a tabletop show or, you know, at just your rep visitor or whatever it is. You could see it. <laughs> you know, yeah, we, you could you we could see the Mel Jacks which on. works. Yeah. You know? And, uh, I think it's, I think it's a great thing for the industry. It's, it's very exciting. Um, you know, I'm, I'm sure at some point, maybe it won't be in Phoenix, maybe it'll move around, however that works, but this has been, you know, super impressed with HTSA for, you know, for doing this and, and pro source for getting their dealers there and, and everybody who really oh seemed to yeah. bought in to this concept. It's, it's just so great to see. The buying group, yeah, the attendance and the yeah. support, you know, by and large. Oh, I mean, I, I mean, I'm a knucklehead if I don't actually do this as well, right? <laughs> I've got to call out Lee Travis and the guys at Y Pliance for putting on what I would say. You know, again, we were talking about events. Yeah, I'm a total knucklehead. I, <laughs> I, I'm, and if Lee ever listens to this, Melissa, if you guys listen to this, I'm a knucklehead. I should have made sure that you guys were on the list. The, the event that you guys put on. Uh, out there at in your uh, in your show home in in Scottsdale is insane. Yeah, um, and, and hey, Lee, we don't know each other, but maybe next year I can get it in. <laughs> yeah. Well, <laughs> the, the, uh, I've known I've known Lee and the crew there for a while, so fair fair you know fair point. I don't think you're actually in town though for that. So I mean, I, I, I could have been. I'm not trying uh, to book my travel. Okay. So well, hey, let's let's not let's not air out any grievances here about. <laughs> Just kidding. Uh, the uh, the hey, the listen. Free, I'm just bent out of shape because I didn't get to go to Lee's ranch, which it, I heard was, was yeah, absolutely amazing. It was it was a great party, and I think it was a real living, you know, real world living example of again an investment that you can make as an integrator in maybe your own home or in a show home or something like that to leverage all of the opportunities and all of the options that you guys offer in yep. a in a living breathing space right like he's got lighting for the cars in the garage you know with a toe kick he's got lighting in the pool he's got audio outside he's got av he's got you know what amounts to that you know that mixed use space that isn't a theater but guess what it's got dolby atmos in there if you want yep. you know what i mean like really cool uh really cool opportunities to experience what um what we deliver to clients every day but all kind of in one place and uh again for the events and and the investment i, I got to make sure that uh, we recognize the guys from live clients loved love that party great event great people that showed up there who's who from buying groups to dealers you know people that even you know are i think i even saw a few of these competitors <laughs> in, in, in his space it's a big tent, man it's, but a it's, a, it's a big tent and uh, you know there was no you know there's no acrimony there it's like yeah this is how this is how we do it and that's I it's think cool. it's healthy to have that exchange of energy and ideas with uh, people that you do business with and people that maybe you're, you're competing with because you, everybody raises their game. So 
to, to kind of pull that thread a little bit, you, you definitely touched on, you know, the, the showroom aspect of it. One of the things that we want to do, you know, at least on our YouTube channel and, and, and as part of our website and stuff is we really want to, we want to put some sunshine on dealers who have pretty great showrooms. Um, so the call to action here is if, if you're listening to this or if you're watching this, you know, reach out to me, um, you know, we want to come to you. We want to document your space. We want to show what you're doing. And we kind of want to, we want to share this, you know, with the world and see the different ways that folks do this because there's, there's definitely different philosophies when it comes to showroom space and what gets displayed and how it's all built and, and how it all gets together. So, you know, while Jason is, is, um, is gushing about Lee's Lee's place out in Arizona. Um, <laughs> we definitely didn't wish, get an invite. I'm sorry. It was a good time, which I haven't seen yet. Um, <laughs> but, but you know, it's uh it's a call to action. We're, we're looking for content, but we're also looking to spotlight dealers who, who are doing this sort of thing. So reach out to us. We'll, you know, we'll figure out a way to come to you and we'll do the whole thing. We'll, we'll talk to you about it and we'll, you know, we'll get that content out there into the wild. I mean, fa frankly, I, I kind of think that's one of the fascinating parts of this industry is how, you know, how do we do it? What do we do? Do we, you know, do we build a, a bunny ranch analog and, you know, and put it all out there, or is this a storefront, or do we have an Airbnb in an apartment? Is is that how that works? I think that part of it is fascinating because there's definitely um, there's a lot to be said for being able to show the product in situ, being able to have a meeting space and, and that kind of thing. So that's that's my shameless plug for for trying to pull in more content and trying to give more um, you know more sunshine on dealers who are doing this sort of thing. Yeah. This is not all about the brands that we represent or whatever. This is about no. the people, our industry. No. Or, you know, if you if you represent or you're uh, you know you're a vendor that we don't represent, you want to come on here and talk to us. We'd love to we'd yeah. love to hear your story. Want to hear? We want to talk to the people that are in the game. We want to talk about the opportunities that are out there. We want to talk about what's happened in the industry. That's all all part of this. Uh, yep. You know, Chris and I are not the uh, the end all be all when it comes to perspective uh, on the industry. Very clearly, as you listen to this podcast, you'll, you'll know that that's the truth. <laughs> So. Yeah, <laughs> I'm just some dork. Um, yeah, I'm just, I'm just, I'm just another, I'm just another guy uh, in my office uh, yelling into the internet. So it's right. great, right? But, uh, yeah. but I anyway, so, so that is definitely something that we're looking to do. And, and um, you know, it sounds like it, if you didn't make it to Light of Palooza this year, definitely put it on your calendar for next year. Put it on your um, radar. We'll be definitely there. check out our. You know, we we did a video as well. You know where I. Basically, the it's we call it Chase and Jason. Uh, that's going to be our series, and basically, I follow Jason around, and he does a one take stand up all oh, around boy. the room. And uh, watch me burn. He he does amazing. <laughs> there's there's definitely some points. Jason is amazing at it. There are definitely some points where it's like, Ooh, what's he going to say next? And that oh, is gosh. worth. That's worth that's worth that's worth that's worth the fifteen Ooh, minutes of your life. <laughs> yeah, running out of gas, and there he is. There's a there's a ju nice a nice jump cut. Somehow that happened. I don't know how he did that without any technology. How did they blur the whole room? Um, weird, you know. So weird. But, so great, love but, it. Uh, but, but yeah, and, cool. and, and along the same line, if uh, if you like what we're doing, you know, like and subscribe. We're uh, we're we're here for you. We want to produce great stuff. If you have any ideas of stuff we should cover, send them. You know, we're please here for you. That's what it's all about. So. Um, all right, well, that's going to wrap up our summary here of the top five things that we saw at Light of Palooza 2024. Uh, for my good friend, Mr. Chris Barlow, and myself, Mr. Jason Savage, we'd like to thank you guys for listening and hope to catch you on the next one. Take care. Talk to you soon. Thanks.